was in the midst of lovely country such as this that the conference took place. Lifeboatmen from many countries meeting together to discuss their problems and exchange ideas. By the way, that's a, a Swede, that unusual looking one on the right there. More about her later. Here they were, gathered in Leith docks. And here's the uh, chairman in the cloth cap, with Commander Middleton, the superintendent of the depot, coming round to have an unofficial inspection of the various boats. Here he's meeting the Bulmer crew, chatting with the coxswain, with the gang commander Middleton. Here's a Norwegian rescue cruiser. As you see, she's much bigger, but then she has to keep sea for two or three days at a time. And there's the chairman with the captain and the secretary of the institution, Mr. Waller, just before going on board. A very fine little ship, this. And here's our president, Her Royal Highness Princess Marina, being presented to the various crews. Pictures aren't very good, I'm afraid, because I just had to get where I could. They were immensely pleased when she spoke to everyone in their own language. German, Dutch. On. Here's our president coming down to make a personal inspection of some of the lifeboats in Leith Docks. Here she is meeting the deputy chairman, Captain Wyndham Quinn, before going on board our latest lifeboat, the Yarmouth boat. Interesting to note, this is the first one with radar. As you can see, she was taking great interest. Now, this is a most interesting demonstration. This is the new Bulmer boat, 37-foot Oakley, which was deliberately capsized in the dock to show just how quickly she writes herself. Look at this. Over and up again. Five seconds, I think it was. A remarkable demonstration. There's the chairman with the crew watching. Yeah, you see the boats getting underway for various demonstrations in the dock. I still think there's nothing to touch our own. There's the uh, coastal minesweeper sent by the Navy to be present. This is a German rescue cruiser. And here's the Norwegian getting on the way. These are taken from that Swedish boat I talked about earlier on. There's the Dutch. Rather like ours, as you see, but certain differences. And here we are, proceeding to sea for various trials in the fourth. There's the German rescue cruiser. She's very different looking, isn't she? The Norwegian, fine sea boat, this. Dutch, very much like ours. Now, let's look at this German. See, 
quite different. But then, of course, different areas to work in. See the speed, jolly good turn of speed. You'll see a lot of pictures of her. Here we are, coming up to the fourth bridge. There's a new road bridge, by the way. Now, these pictures, not very good, because you can see it's very rough. There goes the daughter boat. Now, this boat is carried in the parent ship, and you'll see in a minute the way in which she's recovered. They let down a section of the stern, and she simply drives herself back on board. This little motorboat called the daughter boat. Here she is, coming back to the parent ship. Just watch the way she drives straight on board, up the ramp. There we are. Extraordinary, isn't it? And here comes the stern, coming up. And away she goes. Tremendous turn of speed. I believe she can do 25 knots. I don't know whether this type of craft would be very suitable on our west coast, but of course, for the German seas, I'm sure she's very effective. And so, after a very interesting day at sea, we all came back. Here's the German again, making rings around most of us. The Dutchman, very like ours, as you can see. And so we come back into these docks. <laughs>